Hello? Yes, Fitzora, you are a Muslim, my friend? No, not a Muslim. I just have two questions. Uh, sorry about it. You are, a, um, you are a Muslim or what? No, no, I'm a Christian. But I have a, que a question. What do, you, do what, do you, you, what do you think about Muhammad? Oh, I think he's, he's a filthy, filthy, worst criminal that's ever, ever lived. But why? I mean, but I have a question. Okay, huh? okay, okay. Go ahead. What is the question? I have a question. When they, they had he said that when he was in his, his dying bed, he um, asked them for a book to write in material so he could write another. Do you think that there's a possibility that he might have repented and was trying to correct his wrongs on his deathbed? We don't know, you know, uh, <laughs> because it, you know, the rest of the story is gone because they did not uh, allow him to do it. And uh, even Omar, he said, Qad hajar al -rasul, which means he lost his mind, you know. So uh, uh, he said, bring me a paper and a pen and I will write you a book which you will not be misguided uh, after me. Uh, but uh, Omar, the evil Omar, he did not allow him to do so. He said to him, but we have already the book of Allah. So why you want to write a pen? And then he said, Qad hajar al -rasul, the prophet, he lost his mind. He became mentally ill. So don't listen to him. I, I, sometimes I, when I'm uh, um, trying to convince um, uh, Muslims, you know, that they're, that they're for prophet. I don't call him a prophet, but I think to call him a prophet is blasphemy. He's for prophet. F O R P R O F I T. Yeah. For prophet Muhammad. Yeah. You know. Uh, um, uh, the, you know the, the the important is it's, it's okay to call him a prophet, but we know that there's false prophets. So the word prophet doesn't mean anything. Unless he is, unless we mean he is a real prophet. So yeah. Prophet Muhammad is a prophet of the devil. He prophesied in the name of false god, and he is a false prophet. Yeah. But the only thing that it appears that that came true was how he would die. That he died by by um, daring God, and that he would um, cut his ear to with his right hand and that's exactly what he did isn't it that he exactly it they, is. um, actually i find mm -hmm. that i find that this is story kind of astonishing uh, <laughs> because uh, you know there is a million way for a human being to die right i mean uh, uh, why muhammad he died and he mentioned it himself it's not like somebody else saying i am dying because of this like if if somebody let us say a doctor was there and he say muhammad is his orta is being cut off well, you know, at that time there's no autopsy or etc. So maybe not true. But when Muhammad, he said that statement, that make it astonishing because he made it clear in the Quran that Allah told him, if Muhammad fabricating about us, making up Quran, we are going to cut off his artery or his artery. And then this is exactly what happened to Muhammad. Yeah. And so actually, there's, I use that to, there's a to hadith. Argue with there's a hadith. I don't know if you know it. Muhammad he says he fabricated Quran. I need to find it. He fabricated Quran. Anyone have it? If somebody have it, you can pause, please. So he said he fabricated and he made he, he made up stories about Allah. So all those stories lead us to one direction. Muhammad himself condemned himself and it is highly possible that our God the true God he decided to make Muhammad die in certain way so he can be exposed with his lies exactly and, and that's why I, I showed the, the, the Muslims that, that that's the only thing that came true and that he died that way and that he it appears that on his deathbed he was repentant because he's, he's asking him for something to write to, to, to correct but on, on another note, I wanted to ask you about, um, as a lawyer, as an Islamic lawyer, did, mm -hmm. did that prosecutor can, is he a Muslim? The prosecutor? The prosecutor who, in the, in the, in the Hague. In the where? For the, for, who, 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 who wants to issue the, the arrest warrants for, for the Israeli Prime Minister and the, um, and the Minister of Defense. I, I don't know, really. I don't follow their news. I know just the, the issue... Uh, if they issue such a thing, but I don't know if they are Muslim. It doesn't matter really. I mean, who cares? Uh, but no, what, what we know, what we know it, that it, uh, it, the, the one behind this is the Muslims in South Africa. South yeah. Africa government yeah. is working for the Muslims in South Africa and to Qatar specifically. 
Qatar is the one behind oh. all of this. Yeah. But if the point I'm getting at is that if every Muslim swears to to to, to be a Muslim, you have to to be a, a anti-Semitic. And if Khan is a Muslim, then that I think this would be a, an easy case to win that you could have him disbarred from from the fact that he if he is a Muslim and a sworn to 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 Muhammad to obey, obey Muhammad, which means that his motives are. Uh, are being because he's a, a, a Muslim and not because he's, he's seeking some sort of justice. So I think that no, they should no, you know, push the, that. The Quran say in chapter 5 verse 21, Allah he commanded the Jews to kill anyone who lived in that land. So uh, the Muslim, where is their ethic when Allah he command to kill those people? They will say to you because at that time they weren't Muslim so it's okay to kill them. Yeah, same time uh, uh, we know that this is uh, this war is about religion, not about the land. You see, the Muslims, if Erdogan, he took their land, they don't complain. If the Ottoman controlled them, raped their women, they don't complain. If uh, uh, the Egyptian, uh, Muslim Egyptian, the Arab, they have, they never have a king. Through their history, he was an Egyptian for more than a thousand two hundred years. They never complain. Either Albanian, either Arab, either etc. Never Egyptian. Just because he's a Muslim, if Saddam Hussein he killed the Kurdish and he's a Muslim, nobody go in Europe striking. You know, it's okay. Uh, Saddam Hussein he used chemical weapon. So uh, when when a Muslim kill, it's okay. He have a license. If the Jews now change into Islam and they are slaughtering Hamas, nobody will complain. Why nobody says sees fire in Sudan? Because you know? uh, oh, getting back to the Sudan and, and things, because that, with your topic, coming to your topic of today, the um, I am from the Caribbean, right. and I'm of African descent. Okay. And it it it's amazing that we are there are so many of us over here. We have our own countries now. We are uh, I, I think our life or standard of living is perhaps some of the best in the world, but we're the descendants of slaves. Now, when we look at at the 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 the, the Europeans bought the slaves from the, the Islamists. Right. They, the Europeans wanted, used us as livestock, but they, they, they valued our lives in that they wanted us to breed us. Okay, so we, we were able to, 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 to survive. But the opposite happened in, with the Islamic, uh, because I think after the, the uprising you spoke about, the practice has been to castrate, to kill the males for the Islamic slaves, kill the, the African males, adult males, and castrate the boys, and the, the, the statistics show that it's about ninety percent of the boys would die from infection, and and the journey across the Sahara. And when they, they what they consider castration is not just the testicles, but they also cut off the penis, so they lot of them would bleed to death. Yeah. So the problem is is that um and and they would the reason they did that is because of the uprising and also to, to they could not breed. They could not. Um, they could. They'd be more docile, and they would catch a much higher price as a as a eunuch. So they, they 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 would be able to sell a eunuch slave for like five to six times the price of a of an uncastrated uh, male. So they they did not mind the sacrifice of 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 ninety percent of the of the young boys dying. Well, and even the females, what they did, they did with, with, with the, as they do with the camels. They insert uh, in the camel to make this camel um, sterile. They insert a, a stone into the uterus. I think they did the same with, with, with the, the African females so, to prevent them from from being fertile and just have them as sex yeah, slaves as the, well as in, the, in the, 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 the beginning, in, circumcision. In the beginning, they did not mind them to breathe so they can have more slaves. Mm. But when they become big in number, they start doing this because they don't want. They want to control the population so they treat them the same as like you know i i want to have one meal uh, for the cows i have i don't want to have many meals you know like one is enough and then when we have enough we we don't want any more so we kill them all or no more babies uh, the history of slavery in the middle east is horrible but the, 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 the irony is when they speak the hypocrite muslims when they go speaking to african man they say to him, do you know what the white man did to you? But they will not say exactly. what the other was... man did to you, you know, because the one mm -hmm. who captured the slave and sold the slave is, is the Arab 
white Muslim. It's not exactly. the European. They are more until now in Mauritania. If you check right now in Mauritania, you will see the number of slavery is scary. Until now, Mauritania. And the funny, <laughs> Joe Biden, he meet with their president and he thank him for all the advanced things in Mauritania. Advanced, you know, advanced slavery. Disgusting. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so we know how the world uh, today, the world of hypocrisy. But I'm so glad that you are, you said you are from the Caribbean. I hope yeah. you are spreading knowledge between your friends, your family, making uh, you know making people aware of how trashy Islam because this is what they do. They go to African and they say to them, "Okay, let us see what the white man did to you." But they cannot and they will notice that Muslims because they are hypocrites, they will not say that to a white man. Why do they not say, "Hey white man, do you know what you did to the black?" No. They say the sentence only to an African person to use a, you know, a bad spot in his history to make him reject Christianity. But what does it have to do with, with Christ? How many exactly. how many black slaves Muhammad he owned and how many black slaves Jesus owned? Then we can find which one we should follow. The one who exactly. owned slaves, tortured slaves, killed slaves, or the one who never owned he didn't even anything. I mean, Jesus never ha have a house. So, we, we as a Christian, the best example for us is not a person whose name is a Christian prince. Is a person whose name is Jesus the Christ. So if a person, he is a Christian wearing a cross, does not make him Christian by the cross, it make him a Christian by following Jesus. So if he is a Christian by name, that means he is not following Jesus. So the question is, where Jesus says, go and get the black slaves and enslave them. Where Jesus said, go and treat, you know, uh, uh, like Muslim, they can go and, and find uh, 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 verses about slavery in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, a Hebrew man, he offered himself as a slave for certain time. So slavery for them have a different even meaning. As an example, like right, you borrow money from somebody, you cannot pay him back. So what you will do, you say, okay, me or my family, I will be your slave for maximum of seven, seven years. After that, you have to let him go. The other slave is war, you know, like the, the, the Jewish themselves, they've been enslaved, the whole nation, the whole nation being enslaved. So those people, they enslave us, we go at war with them. And we will do to them what they did to us. It was not for the purpose of slavery. The Jews, they were not attacking their neighbors just to enslave. The, the Jews, they were attacking neighbors who they attacked them and enslaved them. The whole nation enslaved twice. And in history, we know that the Assyrian, they, uh, they enslaved the Jews. The Assyrian, they were white. And the Egyptian, who they are African, they enslaved the Israeli. So, African, they enslave slaves too. Correct? Yes, correct. So, uh, uh, like in, in uh, 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 the Roman, they have slaves who they are white. And they have slaves who they are black. And they have slaves who they are Indian. They have a slave from every Christ, nation. No, in Christ, there's no slave, no, no free. Exactly. Everyone is, is free. Free and free. slave. When all the children of God. Well, when the Bible mentioned free, there's no, there's no, no difference between free and slave. Mentioned that we are equal, even though in the society our situation is not the same. But in the eyes of a Christ, all is equal. So the Bible was teaching Christians that you should treat the one who is a slave as a child of God, even though you have no control of it, because this is how the country is. This is how the Roman are. So. Maybe we cannot free them, but we should not do what they do. People, there's a huge difference between I encourage sin and practice sin and acknowledge it to be good. And by having someone saying to me that sin is rejected, sin is not allowed, as Jesus said to the women, go and sin no more. Muhammad, he encouraged sin. He encouraged insulting people, encouraged abusing people, encouraged even abusing women. Even women who they are free, they are abusing Islam. So what about slave? Imagine, if a woman, she is a free woman, we can beat her. 
So what the Muslim they do to a, a black slave woman? Right? I mean, the, 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 Islam really teaches them to break every single one of the Ten Commandments. And the humanity. You know, which is, Islam is any human. Islam is, is yeah. any human. And this is why we challenge the Muslim to come and join us. But look at them. Coward. They don't dare because they knew. They say that. Because they have nothing to, to stand on. No foot to stand on. But if I am, but it's, it's a big, if I mm -hmm. am, if, if I am a person who is ignorant, who know nothing about Islam, you will see the Muslim lined up here to show me the Prophet says that oh, all of you are equal in the front of Allah, black and white, etc. This is fake hadith. Same time, let us say if it's true. If it's true, why Muhammad did not free his slaves? So that means Muhammad was hypocrite. Because if I say something and I do something else, that means I am a hypocrite man. Muhammad he said to them, don't, the Quran says, stay away from women when they have their period. For period is a hurt. What Muhammad he do? Muhammad he fondled his wives when they have their period. So Muhammad he have a history of saying something and doing the opposite. He cannot be the person who can teach me ethic. No, he has no ethic whatsoever. He's, to me, he's the most evil, evil man out there. And, and all these gangs, it seems like the, the mafia has, has taken his, his, his pattern. The, all the drug lords is, is all from, you know, the Islamic... Um, which, which, uh, which group of white people kidnapping African these days? It Nobody. is Muslims, Muslims only. Yeah. Muslims, yeah, Muslims in yeah. Nigeria, Muslims yeah. in Kenya, Muslims in Senegal, Muslims in etc. So West Africa, Muslims wherever they go, they are the one who can, in, in Philippines, like which country, which location is not secure and not safe? Thailand is safe. You go to South Thailand, you are not. Philippines is safe. You go to South Philippines, you are not. Indonesia is safe as long as you don't live in a Muslim area. <laughs> so, wherever you go and there is Muslim majority, the country is messed up. And even if they are minority, they will mess up the country too. It's a fact. In, in, in the Caribbean, we, we're having a, a big challenge because they, they, they have been the main station being broadcast these days is Al Jazeera, which is a, a serious poison. Yeah, and then so they really. And, Saudi Arabia is coming to the countries to, to, to give them loans. I, I keep telling them that they must be yeah. careful because... And always loan have to come with some uh, return, you know, like what you would do for Exactly. Us. Yeah, yeah, the money. Mm. Yeah, Jazeera, Qatar, money, you know, yeah. You know, the Quran, you know, the Quran mentioned about buying heart, right? You know that? No, no, I don't know. Yeah, the Quran, like, you know, the, the ones who killed the grandsons of Muhammad? Uh-huh. They killed, they killed him uh, because Muhammad, he bought them. Not as slaves, he bought their heart. So the, uh, uh, the story of Abu Sufyan, the, 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 the caliphate who killed the family of Ali, uh, Muhammad, he bought them by money. So the Quran says, you spend your money on those who they are al-mu'allafa qulubam, which means their heart, they don't like Islam, but they like money. So what do you do? You give them money, let them convert to Islam. Chapter 9, verse number 60. All right? So here it says uh, that the charities, charities, by the way, is a theft. Because this is now the Muslim. They go and they attack their neighbors. They steal money. And now they are dividing the money. So now part of it will go to the poor Muslims who they are going to war too. And this is how it works. Well, mu'allafa qulubahum. And those who their heart is reclined. Reclining for what? They don't want Islam. So they buy them uh, off. Yeah. So, and here by the way, Muhammad, he forbid them from freeing slaves. Here they say wow. to you, and for freeing slaves. That's not true. This is for freeing people who they are captured by the enemy. So like they say, we are going at war, and then you capture some of my men so i offer you money to free them this is not about freeing slaves but here about buying the heart of those who don't want to believe islam and you can read the interpretation about it and you will find that the most powerful family in the history of islam they never believe in islam they converted because muhammad gave them gold and silver 
and later because they don't believe in Islam, they hijack. Yeah, they are gang. Yeah, Abu Sufyan, yeah. Bani Umayyah. Those are gang. They are criminals. They don't believe in Islam, but they found Islam as an opportunity. Muhammad offered them money, position, and later they took over the whole religion and they became the most powerful caliphate in the history of Islam. In fact, all most of Muslim countries who converted to Islam by sword converted through the, this family who Muhammad bought their heart by money. Yeah. The mafia can, type of gang. Yeah, and you can go and read the the uh, the history behind this verse here about the ones who their heart is reclined to Islam. They don't want Islam. This is why you see the verses in the Quran says that a group of the Arabs, the Arab they say, all the Arab, uh, we believe. Muhammad, he made a verse claiming Allah told him to tell them, you believe not and faith never enter your heart, but you should say, we are Muslims. Okay, how they are not believing and heart does their, and believe and faith never enter their heart, but they should call themselves Muslims. <laughs> you see, it's just an opportunity. That's why I call him for profit. Everything is just for profit. Exactly. You know? Just say I'm a prophet. Doesn't matter if you believe or not. So it says it clearly. The desert Arab they say. We have belief saying, you believe not, but saying, we surrender to Islam. Not, by the way, it doesn't say submitted. This is false translation. The word here, Islamna, as Islam means surrender. Islam does not mean anything except surrender. The translation here is very false. So if you go to different translation, you will see right away, it the word su submission became surrender. You see, surrender. This is the true, the correct translation. Surrender. Islam is... The word Islam means surrender. The word Salam is peace. Salam is the opposite of Islam. Like, you know, like in English, you say known and unknown, yeah. you know? So, this Salam, is, this is, yeah, this is okay. why, this is, this is the, they, they are different. They are different words. They are the opposite. So, okay. Aslamna, okay. it means we surrender. Peace means Salam. Salam coming from the word Shalom. Yes, yes, yes. It's not the same word. They lie. They say it means submission. That's false. Even some Christians, because they are ignorant, they keep saying Islam means submission. We correct them. We say to them, don't say that. Like David Wood, uh, apostate prophet, we keep saying, don't say that. And they keep saying Islam means submission. As if, as if that's it. Because they don't want to agree that they are wrong. So they decide to repeat the same mistake. But Islam, when you say it's submission, surrender. When you say Islam means submission, actually you are promoting Islam because submission is something you do willingly. Yes, yes, yes. Surrender. Those, is, is, is exactly. So, surrender here is a war. How we can prove that this is about war? Yeah, the verse before it. The other chapter says that if you don't convert, we will kill you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Chapter 4, chapter 48, uh -huh. verse number 16. Say to the desert Arab who lagged behind, which means they did not convert to Islam. You will be called against people of great might and you will fight them unless you surrender. You see, again, the line translation. See, yeah. unless you surrender. So this verse clear, clearly prove that the Arab, they converted to Islam because of the terror, not because yeah. Islam is a good religion. They did not submit. They surrender. Here we go. Chapter 48, verse number 16. So you will not join Islam, no problem. You will be called for fight against who? The Muslims. They are people of mighty warfare, warfare. And you shall fight them or they shall surrender. <laughs> then if you obey Allah, you surrender, you obey Allah, okay, no problem, you're fine. <laughs> Just surrender, don't say, don't, don't say you are surrender, don't, do you believe or not, who care? Crazy, crazy. All right, my friend. Thank you very much. I will. But thank you very much. You're really doing fantastic. Well, keep up the good work. May God bless you. Yeah, and uh, and I I would like to support people in your country. So if you like me to do a special occasion for them, I will be happy to do so. All right. Okay, I, will, I will see what I can organize. Thank you very much. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.